Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to show you that how you can create FAQ page in your Shopify down theme with accordion. So currently on my screen, you can see that we have these accordions like open and close, plus and minus buttons. So this is really beautiful. So I will be showing you step by step. You only need to copy and paste the code and then everything is done. So this is quite simple, but you already know that down theme is the new uh, theme in the Shopify. So there is little bit uh, tricky. So you need to follow the steps and then after you will do all the stuff by yourself. So I have already written a blog post on this. So here you can see that I have already written the steps, but make sure that uh, the way I will be following the steps. So you should follow in the same way. And for that, you have to watch the complete video so that you avoid the mistake and successfully complete the uh, FAQ page. All right. So I have already deleted this page. So let me show you uh, here. We have pages uh so this is the page i'm going to delete this one right now okay so if you will refresh this page now then you will find out that we have page not found so that means page page doesn't exist all right so let's start from the very beginning first of all you need to go to online store then we have themes and on the right hand side we have actions click on it uh, click on that and then click on edit code so here you will be getting the backend code of the Shopify theme. So here you can see that we have some folders, files like uh, layout, then templates, sections and stuff. So you should follow the blog post. So here, here you can see that we have the first point, which is create template page.faq.json. So how we will uh, do that is we should go to templates folder, then click on add a new template. And here you need to uh, select page. And then this is already JSON and here you need to rename this with FAQ. That's it. Okay. Uh, then after you should uh, create another, uh, another page, first of all. So second point is create section man dash page dash FAQ dot liquid. So let's go to the section and then click on add a new section. And here you should uh, write man dash page dash FAQ and then click on create section. So now you will see that we have this kind of structure, but uh, finally we will be doing this is like uh, we will copy this code for the first step and paste it in the page.faq.json. So here we have page.faq.json, select the complete code and paste the new code, then click on save. Now, once you are done, uh, saving this, then you should go to the blog post again and then uh, copy this complete code of the second step. I copied this and then paste in the man dash page dash FAQ dot liquid. So select the complete code, delete it and paste the new code. Let's save these changes also. So everything is saved. Now move ahead with the third step. So the third step is create FAQ dash style dot CSS in assets folder. So go to assets folder. So here you can see that we have uh, assets folder right now. Uh, down below we have sections, then we have assets. So click on add a new asset and click on create a blank file. Then click on FAQ style dot CSS. Click on add asset. So make sure that keep the same name which I have taken here, faq-style.css. Then after you copy this complete code from here, I have copied this and then, uh, then after you should find, first of all here, actually I have just created. So this is faq-style.css and then paste the complete code here and then save the changes. So we are almost done. Now we will move, away, move ahead with pages. So click on pages, then after let's create a new page. So here we will be uh, giving the name FAQs. Then here you have the drop down which is default page. Click on that and then select FAQ and then click on save. Now this thing is done. Now we will be moving ahead with the customization part. Click on themes, then after click on customize. And here we have few things like uh, you should select this drop down and down below we have some pages. Click on that 
and then we have FAQ here. Click on this and you can see that this page is empty right now. So on the left hand side you have some uh, something to add for example this add FAQ item. So I am going to click this for multiple times. Now you can see that we have all these FAQs items and on the right hand side each of the FAQ has uh, some value question and answer. So here you can see that we have question and then we have answer. If you wanted to edit then you can uh, edit that uh, edit that question. For example, uh, how much how long it will take to deliver my product. For example, someone is asking this, then you are giving the answer at least at least 7 days. So this is the answer. So in the same way you can edit all the other uh, questions and then after you can save these changes. But one more stuff is that for example you need to click on FAQ page, uh, sorry uh, click on themes, theme settings, then you have colors. So here we have accent one. So for example you are interested to change the color so you can also do that. Here you can see that I have changed to red, now it is red if I am changing to this color this is also the one and in most of the cases you will find out that mostly people are using black color all right so i choose the black one then click on save so once you are done then uh, let's see on the front end that how it is looking like so again go to the pages and this is the faq page click on view page and now we are done you can see that we have all those questions which we have just added and the important thing is that we can open and close so this is really an attractive thing and if you are interested to add to navigation then you can click on navigation and here you can see that we have man menu click over it and then add menu item here you can add faqs then you can select the pages here you can select faqs then click on add and save menu and for example you are refreshing the page now you can see that we have on the top FAQs track order then click on FAQs and now FAQs is displaying over here so this is really simple and easy you have no need to bother about the coding experience if you don't know a single line of code then still you can perform this specific thing into your store and this is quite important for your customers so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel and also like this video so thank you once again see you in the next video